okay guys in this video i will talk about footing pad okay very basic foundation type and i think this video is going to be very much special for beginner okay in this video i will discuss about how a footing actually works and how a footing should be designed or what are the criteria that should be remembered when you are actually designing a footing okay so before starting the video if you are new to this channel please do subscribe and also press the bell icon so that in future you can be benefited okay so let's start so in basic structure if we look at this structure here this is the slab okay and above this slab the people like you and me actually stand okay we have some load and these loads are transferred first to this beam here you can see okay and how this load are transferred from this slab to this beam if you don't know in that case you can go to the playlist and there you can watch it okay and next from this beam to this column now this column has to transfer all this load to the soil here okay and if you directly place this column over this soil what will happen if your soil is not sufficiently strong which is the normal cases your column will be simply inserted within the soil as a result the whole structure is going to be sink got it so what you have to do you have to apply some uh, large area which can actually uh, distribute this concentrated load to this soil okay so the basic function of any footing is that you have to provide sufficient area below the column so that this column can actually cater any load which is coming onto it okay so this is the basic function of foundation so if your soil is very much weak in that case you need a larger footing compared to a soil where it is stronger got it so this is the basic of footing now the question is how a footing is actually working so this is the load coming to the column okay and it is going to this column then coming to this footing okay then from this footing it is going to the soil as a result soil will have some reaction here you can see these are the reaction and this load is actually started to distribute it like this okay this is the distribution of the load within the footing itself and this distributed load is going to the soil and soil will have eventually some reaction okay this is the basic load transfer mechanism of any footing pad as a result of this reaction what is going to happen of course if you have a beam and you apply a load from its bottom and you try to keep the beam in place by holding it from the upward side okay so what will happen this beam will try to bend like this agree the same thing also happen in case of a footing pad okay here in this picture you can see that due to this external load this footing has been bent like this one okay and as a result you can see this top portion is under compressive force this is under compressive force and the bottom one is under tensile force simple physics okay now you also know that concrete is very much weak in tension as a result what happened this concrete crack like this here you can see the cracks okay so to resist all this crack what you have to do simple answer that is you have to provide the reinforcement and here you can see that we have provided the bottom reinforcement to resist or to arrest all this crack that is being occurred due to your tensile force okay so you have got the basic aspect of design okay the basic reason of providing the reinforcement in any footing at the bottom phase why because due to this load the reaction is coming from soil and due to this reaction the footing pad is trying to bend like this and as a result of this the top portion is in compression bottom portion is in tension and concrete is weak in tension that is why you have to provide the reinforcement as simple as they don't make it complex okay so this is the basic and this design aspect is known as bending aspect 
okay there is also another aspect you know that i always deal with shear force and bending moment and today in this video i will i have already talked about bending moment now it's time to talk about shear force okay so this is our column and we have applied this load okay and this load is going to be distributed like this to this bottom and let's say this is the soil okay so of course this soil will have some reaction like this also in this side it will have some reaction like this okay but here there is no force in this location there is no force in this location there is no force okay but you have fixed it here so of course this force is trying to actually uh, pushing all this concrete mass towards upward just like that this force is trying to pushing this concrete mass towards upward and as a result if your concrete in this location is not if it is not strong enough what will happen do you know let's see yes they will remain here but the whole column as well as the remaining part of this folding is coming down or you can say this part is going off both are correct and this is known as punching okay punching action due to sear of course okay so you have also got another aspect to design this footing that is shear or punching sear so you need to design this location or you need to provide reinforcement in this location so that this failure does not occur clear so finally after designing this footing you have seen that you need to maintain certain depth from ground level okay and then you need to provide the bottom reinforcement due to bending as well as sear okay the same is also applicable in this side as well as if it is 3d picture in that case it is also applicable in this side that is why you here you can see that the reinforcement has been provided each way clear so this this video i think was specially informative as well as useful for beginner and if you like this video please don't forget to share it like it and also if you have not subscribed yet please do it